Good morning everyone. At the moment I'm at Stockholm Arlanda and I'm soon gonna fly to Netherlands where I'm gonna fish with Daniel Weyers. Let's do it. Fish, fish, big one. So we're in this really special type of area. I like big dirt and I cannot fly. The other pie can deny. Hi Daniel! Hey man! <laughs> how are you? Good, how are you? Yeah, yeah, I'm good, I'm good. good. Lots of baggage here. Yeah. It's gonna be fun. Yeah. Good weather. Good weather. Definitely. I'm in Holland now. You're in Holland, it's spring. So what's the plan for tomorrow's fishing? Uh, we're going to go up to Groningen, up to the north. It's like Groningen. Groningen. It's a two hour drive. Uh, we're going fishing with a guide. He knows the places really well and uh, hopefully catch some really big pike there. But yeah. now we're going to take our stuff and take it from the car and go inside your house and eat. All right. And prepare for tomorrow's fishing. After some driving, we are here in a big lake up in the northern parts of uh, Holland. And uh, I have never fished here before. You have never fished no. here before. But we know that there are big pikes here. Yeah, there are monster pike. Yeah. And therefore, we have a guide with us. And who is it? Uh, we're fishing with Robert today. He's a very well-known uh, pike fishing guide in the Netherlands. And uh, uh, we're fishing a beautiful area with big pike. And he's guaranteeing us fish. So. Uh, I think it's gonna be good. And when you're traveling a lot and don't know the spot, it's very important to hire a guide or to talk with someone that you know because in waters like this that's big, it often takes a lot of time and effort to really find where a pike is. Yeah. And then a guide is really important. Yeah, yeah. He's one of our fishing in Holland guides and he's a good guide. So uh, I'm pretty sure we're gonna get a fish. And now we are on the first spot. And uh, how deep is it? What, what lure should we use? What has been working here? Try to fish the whole day with sheds or maybe jug baits. And we're fishing here at 1.6 meters water. So it's shallow water fishing. Yeah. And the airport works good. The jigs works. Everything works good. Everything works good. That's we perfect. We must try it out. And any different colors? Uh, I started with red and white, but also colors as the fire tiger. Fire it's tiger. Very, it's very good, but also the. Natural colors are good. So kind of everything. <laughs> yeah, we must try it out. The last time was this one and the fire tiger good, but I don't know now. We'll see. We shall see. Since the guide said that the fire tiger works really good, I'm gonna I know exactly what to put on. Here we have a new upcoming bait from us. It's the shark shad in the color hot pack, and this actually looks like the fire tiger. So I'm gonna start with this one, and here it's 1.6 meters, like I said. So I'm using a shallow screw. Uh, I'm gonna fish. It's quite cold in the water, so I don't think you should, should fish too fast. And then a shallow screw works perfectly. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put it on and start to fish. Okay, Daniel, let's yeah. make the first cast and see if the fishing in Holland is as good as I think it is. All right, let's do it. Didn't take that long actually. No, 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 not at all. But it's not the biggest of them all. It's not the biggest of them all, but it's a cute little fish. Look at it. <laughs> oh, he's holding on to the lure. He's not letting go. Is it hooked? Yeah, it's hooked. But Daniel, now we know that there are pikes here. Yeah, we do. And they're still on the bottom. Like They've got like leeches on top of them. So they're kind of slow, I think. Let's put it back and catch, yep. mo catch more. Bye bye! Oh, fish, fish! It's okay, it's okay, fish. It's quite, it's very fat. Tobias! Yeah, I caught my first, mm. uh, I was about to say my first Dutch pike, because you caught Dutch pike before, but my first pike for today. It's not that uh, long, but it's actually very fat. So let's have a look at it. Wow! It's super fat. Really nice. Yeah, I would like to catch one of these, but 125 centimeter long. But as you can see here, it has uh, eels on it. So it means that this one is as well standing on the bottom. And it took a switch from the shark shad uh, to a yerk bait to see if that worked. And the guppy here worked perfect. So maybe they want yerk bait. We'll see. He caught one on jigs and I caught one on yerk bait. So we have to 
continue to see what they are like, but it's a good sign that we already caught two pikes. And they're really active. We had, we had a few takes, two fish, really good. Yeah. Oh my God, heart attack. <laughs> I just missed one, like right at the boat. I, oh my God, and then next cast he took it again. And now you're also showing it to a yurk bait. Yeah. And caught one, so maybe they, they want to yurk. <laughs> oh, really spectacular strike. Wow. It was fun to watch. Yeah, that was fun to watch. And I almost hit Robert with the jerk bait. <laughs> and look at this one, it has some uh, of these as well. Yeah, leeches. Everyone is standing on the bottom. Yeah, nice, good fish. Put it back. Daniel, we have been fishing for some time now, mm -hmm. here on the drop off from like one to four meters. Yeah. What's the plan now? We're gonna move. Uh, yeah, we're going to a special area. It's really nice in the middle of nature. It's like uh, this tiny little lakes. So they're really shallow, uh, but because it's uh, just before spawning season, there's a big chance that uh, there's good fish on uh, shallow water. So uh, it, it's either really good or it's nothing okay let's hope it's really good yeah and then we get some cool takes on shallow water i hope so yes like sweden maybe you can use surface baits <laughs> we'll see <laughs> So we're in this really special type of area and as you can see all around us you see reeds and, and really low uh, landscapes and what this is is like all these plants they've been dying and they are like clustered together and they form a sort of like islands on the water and they float like and like underneath uh, the water goes underneath and um, when you drive the boat real fast and you get waves the, um, the land goes like this in Holland we call it trilvein. It's, it's a special area and uh, I know it's like really rich in pike. So now the water is really clear, but it can re be really dark as well. But uh, I, I think it's really good. It's a really nice area for a pike to spawn, uh, especially from bigger water. They come here, they, they sit here to, uh, you know, to breed. And uh, I think we have a big possibility of getting a really big pike here. So. And before I was catching fish on this one, but this one is sinking and here it's very shallow, it's like up to one meter. So I'm gonna put on a smaller one and then I'm gonna, and this one is floating or shallow. So I think this is gonna work good. And always when I'm fishing in places like this, uh, uh, York bait and spinner bait works really good. I think now it's quite cold in the water and it's in the spring. So I think spinner bait is probably too, makes too much noise. So I prefer York bait fishing it really slow. Let's see if we can get some cool takes in here. I think so. Me too. Fish, fish, big one, big one. This is a good one, I think, yeah. It's yeah, a, really nice fish. Really nice, oh, it's not uh, hooked well. It's really bad hook. Robert, can you get net pocket? Just, just one get hook. The net? Just one hook in the mouth. Oh now it's hooked well. It, it's okay. It, it's hooked good now. When it when it spin, it, it hooked with the other. It was just the one hook in the mouth and then spinned and now it, the other hook <laughs> is uh, stuck in the neck. So better, it's okay. Better. That was fun. We haven't fished here for long, like five minutes. And the small York bait worked really good. Really nice fish, Tobias. Yeah. yeah. Really nice. So it, this is this is a good sign because. Uh, Daniel said that either they are here or they are not here. Now we caught one after just five minutes of fishing, so they are here. We might catch more. A little bit longer than the last one. So I would say it weighs like, maybe it's uh, 85 centimeters. Yeah. Weighs four kilo, probably. So it's fun to catch them here. Good take. Really nice. Let, let's unhook it. I saw a jump right after you said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was wow. so fun. Nice. But it wasn't a hard take, it was just like, and then I made the hook set and then it was there. Perfect, Good. yeah. Let's unhook it. First it was just uh, stuck in this hook and then, it, it, you see, it's, it's very loose. And then it turned around and it got hooked there as well. Since they are soon gonna spawn, I want to put them back as fast as possible. So I'm just gonna put it back in the water and then keep on fishing. Bye bye. 
Nice. Very nice. Fun fishing in Holland. Oh, fish! The, also a decent one. Another pike in here. But this one is quite thin. I think this one is actually like spawn. But this one took the bait with bad intention. It was quite long, but since this is just... It's not that beautiful. Not fat and not extremely long. So I'm just gonna unhook it and then put it back in the water and we're gonna keep on fishing because it seems like there's quite many fish here. He, he just missed to fish the, the guide, so they are here. We just need to keep on hammering. Wow, that was a really cool strike. I switched to jerk bait as well. Well done, Daniel. Really nice. Now we're starting to catch them. Yeah. We have been fishing these shallow parts for a while now and we've had quite good activity. Yeah, really good I think. Yeah, and we, I caught a decent pike and we had uh, quite many takes as well. Yeah. So it was very fun to be fishing here, but all the pikes we have caught here has been uh, post -born. Yeah, they were really thin, so... So the plan now is to go back where we started because there, all the pikes we caught, they were quite fat. Yeah, especially the first one you had. Exactly. Yeah. So the biggest chance for us to catch a big one today is to go back there. So that's yeah. what we're going, yeah. to, going to do now. Yeah, let's go to the big lake. Exactly. All right. If you are uh, just like me here fishing in the Netherlands and don't know any spots, I always recommend you to either go with some friends or hire a guide. And actually Daniel that I'm fishing with now, his work has a really good way to find the right guide. If you're here on a holiday, I would always recommend you to get a fishing guide. They are professionals, they can help you catch your fish. And uh, Robert is one of our special guides. He even has the quality mark, which means he's got like a CPR, insurance wise, he's got everything covered. And uh, he knows where to bring you to the fish. So uh, visit our website and check out our guides and you're guaranteed good fishing. Now, when we are back here at the first spot, guess what I'm gonna using? I'm gonna switch from this one to the big one. The big guppy. We are going for big fish. Bam! You have a song for that? Yeah, I like big lures and I cannot lie. The other pie can deny. <laughs> <laughs> when the right. guppy comes by. Whoa, heavy. Heavy. It's a good song. I hope the pike like it. Is this the good color? The right color? This is the, a weird color, but it works. Good. Perfect. Let's go. Oh, fish! You got a nice fish? Yeah, well, it's not actually that long, but it's, it's quite fat and that shows that outside here, they have not spawned yet and, outside, and inside the shallow part they have spawned. So that's a good sign that we might, if we catch a long one here, that it might uh, can be quite big and quite heavy. And since uh, this pike is uh, hooked quite loose and it's not that big that I want to take a photo of it, it's much better when it's a pre-spawn fishing to just unhook them in the water. So I just take the plier and unhook it like that. That way you don't uh, handle the fish uh, too, long. too long exactly. Yeah. So then you can just go back and prepare for the spawning. Nice! Yeah. This is it. This is the end of the day and as always it has been really nice to be here fishing in Netherlands and I want to thank the guide Robert. Thank you. Thank you. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank and you. as always Daniel, it has been a pleasure fishing with you. Of course. And if you come here to the Netherlands and want to fish Daniel, what should you do? It's really easy, just go to fishinginholland.nl, uh, it's our website, you can find information about guides like Robert, about good accommodations, about uh, good fishing spots and techniques, and uh, yeah, it's really easy, just go there, get a good holiday, uh, book a guide, and uh... yeah, and actually I'm gonna be back here in June fishing for Sander. In order to not miss that episode, make sure to subscribe to our channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, links in the description, and see you next time. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.